Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Um, I can't sing that bit then, can I? Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you're all well and safe. I am popping on today to share with you a project that I've been working on for the last couple of days. Um, I'm really excited to show you. I haven't properly finished it yet, but I was so excited that I really just wanted to show you and um, get on you because it's Friday today. Kids are still in school, so I've got to go and pick them up in a bit. Um, I'm working tomorrow and so it's difficult to do videos on the weekend because everybody's here so um, yeah I didn't really want to wait till Monday either because my patience couldn't hold out um, so yeah so I hope you're all okay I haven't spoken to you for ages um, yeah everything's good here the kids are still full of snot um, I've always got colds my kids all COVID, not Covid related um, just general colds but I think it's this time of year and it seems to be like most of the kids in school have got a cold. Um, and the weather's not been great here either. So, um, yeah, but we're all okay. I hope you are too. Anyway, I'm just going to get down to it because I want to show you this awesome, awesome box. Well, I think it's awesome. I don't know yet. You might not think so, but okay. So, this is an explosion box. So, I've used my explosion box board that um the wonderful jude got for me um i love it and i've been wanting to make a project with it for a while um and i had baby girl paper but i didn't have any card stock so i had to wait for a card order um so i've had my card order in and i've managed to make this um so yeah i just really really love it so anyway the box is four by four by four so four by four by uh, four by four by four yeah okay and the top bit here um is one of the four by four cut parts that i've cut down and it says sweet baby girl um what i've done is i've put a piece of chipboard i probably should have put two pieces actually put a piece of chipboard in between that layer and i've put a piece of chipboard in between that layer so it gives it kind of like that staggered layer effect and i really really like that um i haven't added any stickles or anything i've kept it really 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 plain which is good for me, um, but I did add these diamantes to the middle of the flowers because I thought that looked really cool. Um, so yeah, so I went with a plaid pattern for the lid and then this gorgeous pattern um, for the four sides, which is like the mobile and you've got your sheep, little cloud and the moon. Um, and this is paper by Echo Park and it's called Baby Girl, it's the older version. Um, so yeah, so this is like the wood grain behind and the cardstock that I'm using is baby pink and it's from Paper Mill Direct and I love it. So yeah, so it's really gorgeous and it's a different way that I usually do my um, uh, explosion boxes, which you'll see now in a minute. I did get my inspiration from Scrap and Coffee. Um, she made one that's like amazing and I thought oh, I need to have a go at making one of them and sort out the pox. She didn't do a tutorial on it or anything. Um, so I sort of made up all the measurements by myself, um, which was time consuming. But um, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how it's turned out. So um, I need to put my uh, stamp at the bottom. Um, so yes, yeah, so this opens up like the so. Okay, so at the minute it just looks like, wow, okay, what's going on? Um, what I've done is I've put um, like a baby's full year in oh, the whole explosion box. Now, you're not going to fit like normal 6x4 photos in here, obviously, because it's not big enough. So this is purely for like one photo, maybe one little bit of a journaling spot. Um, just to, so you see those people on Facebook and they put up like a card with a month old and the baby next to it. So this would be something that would be for that purpose and you could just sort of put those pictures in here and keep this then on the shelf as like a keepsake. Um, and I think it's just perfect. Okay, there's a lot of bulk, okay, which is why I haven't got a lid for each individual um box all right there's a lot of stuff going on on the side so i haven't done a lid for each um section so the lid keeps it all in con all intact um but i will use the lid to sort of separate the layers so that i can show you what i've done okay so the the flat layer here is one full piece and this is just using the heart templates 
um, and I've just used some of the this paper here to put over the heart. There's nothing on this heart here on the outside. Okay, so I will ignore the middle bit for a minute and I'll show you that after. So if I just lift up these bits and put the lid back on there, I can show you then one by one. Right, so I'm going to have to like, sort of turn it probably. Um, but yeah, so we don't want three months, do we? We want one month. Right. Okay, so it sort of turns around and around and around, all right? Um, so this is one month. So for one and three months, I've done the same pocket here. So it's a short pocket and it's an acetate pocket. I've decorated it using this little owl and the word baby girl. And I've used two button stickers there. Okay, so this one month then, and in this pocket here is the card that says one month. So you can either do some journaling on the back there or pop a photo on the back there. I've put in a photo mat. Again, this paper comes off, so you can pop your photo onto the photo mat. Um, and then you could write journaling on here. So it's entirely up to you, you how you do it. Um, what I was going to do is add a tag. So maybe I could add a tag for the journaling, but it all depended on how bulky it was getting. And at the minute, it's not too bad. So um, I'm quite happy with it. And I think I'll just put a tag in and just see how it looks. I'm trying to not do this now, so the camera. Okay, there we are. So that's one. And then it goes round. And then on two and four months, we've got these deeper pockets here. Okay. So this one is decorated with a llama and I've backed that up on pink cardstock you were so loved. Um, again, in here is the two months and a photo card. And again, you can do journaling on the back of both of those or like I say, I might just add a tag. So these are pockets that I've made with um, properly then, not just glued three sides. I've actually sort of measured them out and done them properly which is quite hard because their um measurements on these explosion boxes are usually like to the 16th of an inch so it's very very difficult to get like um the exact measurements but anyway that's number two so then we've got three uh, which is the same as number one and again you've got your photo mat and your card in there and i've just put paper clips again baby girl on that one I love the wood panelling. And then that is number four. And on here, I don't know if you can see this very well, but I've put a baby's bottle and like I've backed up a um, little baby girl on pink cardstock and you've got sweet baby there then. And number four is in there. So that's one layer. So one, two, three, four. So you take it off again and then let's hide these so I can show you these right sorry I meant to say on number one month where is number one month here okay I'll take this off for a minute on the sides here so I'll show you the sides now as well I've got one space here for new arrival so oh, camera stop so what I've done is I've put congratulations on your new arrival. I've um, baby powdered that stickiness off and just stuck it down at the bottom. And then in here then, I have added new arrival. That was with the months. Then we had this thing with the name, date, time, weight and length. And then another little photo opportunity there. So um, that is just sort of... Um, before the baby is like a month and obviously so new arrival that sticks out to the top there a little bit but it's fine it doesn't interact with the way that the box closes or whatever so I'm good with that and then on the other side then so I've got that one that side by number one month because obviously they've been born then it's one month Um then we've got on this no we haven't got it on this side i've just used one of the cut parts and it says of all the things my hands have held the best by far is you and then on this side is another little tuck spot with another photo journaling card and another place for a photo map there and again i've just stuck it down on the corner and then 
this side is another cut apart. So I've tried to mirror the mirror them as much as I possibly can. Um, and that one says, you are so loved. Okay, so that is the second layer. But I put that by the first month, the new arrival bit, so that it's all together. So, okay, no, we don't want, we want... Okay, so then this section then, so we go on to the five. So this bit here is a full pocket. Well, I say full, pretty much near enough full. Um, with an acetate window again um, and the frame going around. And then inside this pocket we have, again, the five months. Place photo here. So if you take that out and put that behind, you could put the photo in the front of um, the baby. Um, or you could keep that there, put your journal on the back, journal on the back. Again, it's entirely up to you. I've just done that way so that it looks nice. Okay, so that's five. And then, so five and seven are the same. So it's just the same pocket, same... Um, Thing. And then six and eight are belly bands. So you've got that bit here with the belly band, and then inside the belly band again is so we've got that back in paper because I love the plaid photo mat and the six months again. So that goes in there, and again, all of these belly bands got the gussets on the side. Well, not gussets, but you know what I mean, they're all done properly, so they've got sides then. Uh, so that's six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, and then the end layer. Let me show you the sides of this one first. So on all four sides of this one, I've done like the cutest little photo mat. So we've got this square here, which is about um, two, I think, is it two? No, it's less than that. It's about one and seven eighths. Again, you can take that off and just use the pink. I've done, I've die cut out some pink squares. So you can see that. And then I've put one of the stickers, the banner stickers, and I put Sweet Girl that side. And then for this side, I've done it again with the photo mat. I've put I Love You again with the banner. And then on this side, there, Sweet Little Lady with the banner. And then this side with Born to be Sweet with the unicorn and the banner um, and the place for a little tiny photo if um, that is what's wanted. It's just a little bit extra for some, maybe some little cute little photos and stuff. Um, so then we go the last layer then, so it's 9, 10, 11 and 12. So we've got the 9 and the 11 months. Again, short pocket with the acetate in. Um, again, my photo mats are all, I think all the photo mats are three by three, and I think the other ones are three and an eighth by three and an eighth, the bigger ones, but they go from three to three and an eighth, so, um, you can get a photo on there nicely. So that's in that pocket. Again, of course, because I'm on camera now, it doesn't go back in. There we are, so 9 and 11 is exactly the same then, with the acetate pocket, these are really fiddly to do, and then you've got 10 and 12 then, which are the um, same pockets, but shorter, again, I've used my envelope punch board to put out a notch, um, and again in here then is the same thing, photo card 10 and 12 months, so we get to 12 months, and obviously it's the first birthday, so it's like boop, 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 um, so I've put in this extra little bit here, um, it says one year, love, kisses and birthday wishes, um, I've secured it with a ribbon and used one of the, um, sort of baby things with balloons, I thought it looked like birthday, so I thought that would go really, really well, and again that's on like, uh, this wood grain paper, and then this is like an accordion style, and it comes out like that for four photos there. 
and out like that for two photos there and um, so you've got extra little photos for their first birthday it's nice to just put some in there and again it doesn't have to be specifically for photos which is why i didn't put my little stamp in the middle um because you could do some journaling on here and that goes back in there like that and that ties up like so and i'm never ever ever gonna get it back into a bow I'll try my best, but it's not going to work. I've gone really rubbish at tying bows. This ribbon I got from Stampin' Up. I've had it for ages. It's like a shimmery coral colour. Right, that'll do for now. And then, yeah, and then it all goes back together in one. So... I just love that i really really just love it i love the way it falls out i love all the different layers i love that you can get like you know really nice size photos in all of them and it's like a full year then of photos so um yeah i'm really 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 pleased with how it turned out it i had it in my mind what i wanted um and yeah it's really sort of I really, really, really like it. So I'm hoping that I can start my Etsy shop back up. Um, I'm sort of in the middle of making things. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping that's going to go up soon. So I will be putting this up for sale in my Etsy shop. I don't know how much for yet because I haven't worked out what it all sort of took to make and things. But um, yeah, I just really, really love it. I hope you like it too. I'm going to love you and leave you. Um, I shall see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.